Stan Jabalisco here. I would like to just briefly describe the technique by which a regenerative receiver works. Have you ever heard of one of these things? They're, they're kind of a relic, kind of out of the olden days. But basically the way that they worked was that they introduced oscillation into the front end or first radio frequency amplifier stage. What we're looking at here is a simple front end or preamplifier that might be used with almost any radio receiver, shortwave radio receiver in particular. Shortwave referring to the range of frequencies from approximately 1.7 to 30 megahertz or thereabouts. Just above the standard broadcast band up to the top of the high frequency portion of the RF spectrum. Here's the basic circuit. This is an N-channel junction field effect transistor. Usually in a sensitive weak signal amplifier like this, you will find a field effect transistor rather than a bipolar transistor. This resistor here provides the drain voltage. This resistor here along with this resistor here provide the source gate bias this capacitor here is a blocking capacitor to keep this DC from being uh, for signal from being shorted to ground. And this right here is the tuned circuit which selects the frequency, a pre-selector as it were, to adjust the receiving frequency. However, this pre-selector will also become the actual tuning control of a regenerative receiver. This is an air core coil solenoid wound on something like a plastic cylinder or a waxed paper cylinder in the olden days. Your antenna with its coil and then a somewhat smaller uh, number of turns here. So this is a step-down transformer, step-down impedance transformer. Assuming that you have a random wire or very high impedance antenna. This capacitor right there keeps the uh, keeps the output isolated from the direct current bias here so that it only the radio frequency output appears here. So this is an amplifier that may provide something on the order of 10 dB of gain fairly easily. That's a, a power amplification factor of 10 to 1. So how do you get this regenerative receiver to work? Well the if you use a preamplifier like this, you can receive AM or amplitude modulated signals just fine, but single sideband, uh, Morse code, ham radio signals, uh, things like that, frequency shift keying, phase shift keying, uh, modes of that sort, you can't receive that unless you have some sort of an oscillator that beats with the input signal to produce your output. So how does this actually work? Well, here's what you basically get. You need to provide some sort of feedback, some sort of positive feedback from the output of this amplifier through a blocking capacitor and thence to another coil that you can literally insert right there inside of this air core solenoidal coil. You have to make sure that this coil is connected in such a way so as to provide phase reinforcement or positive feedback which will then cause this circuit to break into oscillation at the frequency determined by this variable capacitor then your output will be at audio frequency and you can just simply put an audio frequency stage probably an audio frequency amplifier and then to your headset maybe another amplifier and you could use a speaker but you're going to get audio output here at a frequency that is the difference between this oscillator frequency and the signal frequency. 
a few hundred hertz, say 700 hertz, for CW or Morse code operation is a comfortable listening pitch. So you would have this. It, it tunes very much like a direct conversion receiver. There's just one bugaboo with regenerative receivers like this. This oscillator can cause radiation out of the antenna and turn your regenerative receiver into a low power radio transmitter and that can actually produce interference to other stations or other people who are trying to receive on the same frequency so that's why you won't find you won't find this kind of receiver very often there is a way to get around that though you can put a buffer stage a uh, unity gain amplifier as it were ahead of this whole thing here that's tuned to the same frequency or even a broadband unity gain amplifier perhaps using another field effect transistor in a grounded gate configuration or even a source follower configuration to help block that signal from getting back out because an amplifier generally will pass signals from the input to the output like this fairly well but not so much from the output back to the input not much can leak back through there so that's the way you get around that bugaboo so you can still use one of these things a regenerative receiver and they're easy to build a good uh, I believe a good uh, junction field effect transistor just a plain old JFET something like an MPF 102 I believe it's called is that the old model uh, or the old uh, part number I believe that's what it was called but you can find them at all kinds of electronics uh, supply outlets so that is your basic regenerative receiver front end and uh, just remember though if you intend to do that you need to put a buffer ahead of this so that it won't transmit that would be illegal I believe as well as possibly getting you uh, very much disliked amongst all those people who surround you who also have shortwave radio receivers <laughs> all how many of them is another question Stan Jibalisco signing off until next time so long <laughs>